Yeah, I don't really know how anybody can can live on what the, the minimum wage is today. It's I just don't see it. Many people that I know personally and care very much about have to work really crazy hours to be able to afford a modest standard of living. And I, I hate that. There are so many benefits to paying a living wage that it, it just makes sense that from a business perspective. My name's Howard Hanna. I'm a chef and restaurateur in Kansas City, Missouri. Overall, I'm strongly in favor of the Raise the Wage Act. A really great advantage to businesses in the Raise the Wage Act is that it'll decrease employee turnover and give you a chance to build up um, a culture in your workplace and to build up institutional knowledge that honestly takes a long time to develop. And also in industries where um, they have tight margins like mine in the restaurant industry, um, so much of what we suffer with is high um, turnover. And that's probably my greatest cost or my greatest controllable cost. Um, so to keep good people longer is very important to me. Anything that enables us to keep good people longer is something I'm always gonna be in favor of. Well, my name is Michael O'Connor. I am one of the partners of the, the, the Barberia, where it's very important uh, in our industry that we retain our barbers. It just makes sense that you don't want you don't want your guys to you know, constantly looking around for a couple of hours more. And, you know, we don't want our guys to have to take a second job to, to just get through life. Uh, anybody working two jobs, both jobs suffer. So. It, I mean, that's basically our philosophy. I mean, and, and we seem to be able to do it. I mean, we've kept our customer base. We've been able to build on our customer base. Hey, look, we've been able to grow from one barbershop to two. So I don't see the argument that, that it's going to kill business. I mean, that's, you know, that's something people throw out there to scare you. My name is Rebecca Hamilton, and I'm the co-CEO at Badger. We're a rural company out in New Hampshire, and we manufacture organic and natural skincare products and sunscreens. In the state of New Hampshire, which we have a lot of rural businesses here, there is an ongoing issue that we're dealing with in the business community, which is that we're losing a lot of young people in particular. And I think the, the part that's not talked about as much that a lot of these people are leaving because we have such a low base minimum wage, which means paying salaries for young people coming into a career is a lot lower than even in surrounding states where they're not following the federal minimum wage. We need to have the federal minimum wage raised so that even if a state like ours doesn't choose to have a higher level than federal minimum wage, that there's that base level requirement throughout the country and that that will benefit us as a state and benefit the businesses in our state.